talk combines big combines big new combines this is the 8000 series from class and we're at a demo day arranged by Hamleys the Honiton well they've got several dealerships in the southwest and class one or two other manufacturers are here sadly it rained last night and uh, if I come around this way the idea was to be cutting this week, but um, that's not going to happen. However, we can still have a good look around the combine. Hello. Hello. Right. Well, we're here to interview Doggy. <laughs> <laughs> but I suspect that Adam Hayward here from class knows a little bit more. So the idea is we're just going to walk around it. This uh, 8,000. This is an 88. Correct me if I'm... Yeah, yeah 8,800, yeah. yep. And... Uh, there's a slightly bigger 89, well, bigger, not physically bigger. Yeah, but, larger 89 will go yeah, with, yeah, 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 yeah. Main difference is, if we take a 780, yes. as a, which has been the, your yeah, the flagship, flagship so up far, until yes. now. Yeah, yeah. Now, sadly, everyone who owns one is a little disappointed. Oh, it's still and a very big combine they, they want one of these. Absolutely, so, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> now we did just chat a bit off camera. Yeah. And I asked, "What was the, what, what, what the would key? fit yeah, okay. on the 780 off this?" And it wasn't a very long list, was no, it? No, it's it's easier to list the parts actually for um, the that haven't changed than have changed. Yeah. So yeah, a huge amount of changes on the machine itself. So actually, when we're looking inside, uh, there's been a huge amount of change. Now it's been 10 years in the making this machine, eight years <coughs> of field testing with over 6,000 hours with different time. badges on. Well, we do, well, yes, with the old badges <laughs> on and old panels, of course. With uh, over, yeah, testing over 10 countries. I've, I've yeah. been told it's a 790, yeah, which is, oh, what's that? A little bit more powerful? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, more, more, so quite a bit bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so a lot, of, lot has changed. Yeah, with 6,000 hours of endurance testing, and it has been tested in the UK for about six years. So it has been very thoroughly six tested. Six years? Yeah, it's been in the UK for about six years. And all of a sudden it's new. Yes, yeah, so all of a sudden it's new, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Headline figures. Um, now, I, if I say the ones I know, yeah. is it 20, how much bigger concave, I call it concave area, you'll yeah. call it APS. Yeah, so it is concave area we talk about, but also the threshing drums, uh, which are really important. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So we're around. Drum itself. Yeah, so behind there. Yeah, that's behind here. 20. It's five percent. Uh, it's twenty-six percent larger. Twenty-six percent. Uh, and then the impeller, the feed drum to the rotors, is fifty-seven percent larger as well. So older, fifty-seven. Yeah, so it's a lot bigger than uh, uh, than, <laughs> than the previous generation. That's quite a bit bigger. Purely to handle more material. Uh, so we've got a larger drum, larger <coughs> concave. What about the rotors on the, rotors the hybrid? Thing. Yeah, the hybrid system, so a threshing system at the front and hybrid uh, being, being the rotors at the rear. So a combination of two systems. It's very unique to us at class. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. We have the ability to harvest in all conditions. Uh, perhaps not today because it is raining. But I was just uh, about yeah, to say, yeah. as, yeah. as we, <clears throat> I'll just turn around here. Yeah. It is, it is sadly raining. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's roughly the combine, but there's a bit that sticks on the front. Yes, that uh, we call a header, or what class call, wait for it, a Convio flex header. Some of you might know it a bit more like a Draper header, the McDon type thing, etc. Now this, uh, we'll come on to the bits, the, the sizes and some techie bits on the combine in a bit, but as a farmer, this is the bit that excites me, and I've just seen this for the first time this morning, and it, how can a header look sexy? But I will try and describe it as such. I've just described this header as sexy, but Adam's going to be a bit more sensible about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. So it does have a job. Uh, so a draper header, a flex draper header, but it's quite popular. There's a lot of news about it in, at the minute in the press. But it's really for when uh, in favorable con conditions. So yeah, it's a flex yeah. and contour across the ground. Um, and you can drop it really close Did to the Did you ground. say favourable or not favourable? Not, so not favourable yeah, conditions. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So that's when it really starts to shine. In your light sort of spring barleys, uh, tangled crops, you can get low and still feed. Yeah, um, so yeah, yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. it really easy to get really close so to I the ground. bring the camera in here. So basically, all this cutter bar flexes. Yeah, it does, yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's uh, <laughs> but on there yeah. as well. And then, which makes so much sense to me, it, the crop then falls onto this. That's right. As and soon as it's on there, it's gone. You know, here we go. Bring the camera yeah, back yeah. here, because I want to do this to camera. 
I've had manufacturers tell me for years how our header feeds the crop head first into the machine and it has gone through this huge all and it doesn't go head first they just tell us it does but this one yeah I could believe it does yeah it falls on as soon as it's on the belt it is gone uh, and in big bulky crops we've also got the cross augers here across the top but that just keeps it down keeps it down it keeps carries it, it in yeah yeah so when we put yeah, the side yeah, knives yeah. on um, it works perfectly with that yeah 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 it's so. specifically designed to work in our conditions as well um, we also get the pitch adjustment from the feeder house so it's really straightforward to use with a class combine really easy to use i've got a feeling this will have its own handbook <laughs> yes yes it does. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. there's some blocks of wood here that just give an idea if i come back on the camera there that's it adam great and it really does flex so um hmm must stop looking at the header but one small point that i've just had a bit of exercise going for a walk and this thing is 45 feet blimey okay now this is as usual, farmers tested what's it like to get in. Well, it's, let's whoosh the camera around. So we'll do this one-handed, as usual. And up we go. Whoops. This is quite high. <laughs> this is very high. But, yeah. Well, as it's raining, it's rather nice to be in here. Oh. Hello, where are you, Adam? Yeah, just to go in. in. <laughs> yeah, right. As I say, <laughs> it is how to be depressed when you're in a combine in the rain. Yeah, it's just that's true. not yeah. a place to be, is it? No, not a good place, but uh, it's one of those things. We can't control that in the UK. <laughs> no. Yeah. Right, well, it's always tricky filming in a cab, but what have we got i will try so we've got an adjustable steering sorry adam I'm yeah, stretching. Yeah, go, go, go. no no yeah. you're all right you're all right right pull the steering back now that was this is farmer's intuitive how good is it how easy is it to work things so he's worked out the steer that's quite a nice steering wheel mm. nice leather one <laughs> yeah leather steering wheel let's have a look come on round there we are in fact that's quite good and there's there would be wouldn't there there's a lot of glass yes so, and inevitably we have screens. But okay, no. we've just had to lift the header up so that, because it's a demo day, we've got people around and so they're looking underneath, etc. So it's just started up. It's quiet in here. You, it's, it, it seems quite intuitive. And that, this is the, this is the second, so this would be the main machine. But the main that, machine control. And, and that, that is, is your GPS tier yeah, terminal. Yeah, it's also. And we also run cameras through there uh, as well. Yeah. And on our main screen, we also run cameras on there as whoa, whoa, well. Whoa, yeah. Okay, True. coming back there. Yeah. If we go back, can we, how do I go back? Just click this. Uh, the the little back. machine at the top, just press that. There, you go. there we go. Okay. Ah, right. And that's well. There you go. There. Here is my simple basis. It goes in the front. Comes up to what you'd like to call APS. APS threshing system. Yeah. yeah. Or synflow yeah. system. And then we get a bit hybridy with the rotors. Correct. And then we've got sieves. Oh, there. Look, sieves. Cool. Can I touch? Oh, yeah. I can touch lots of things. Oh, I can. I can. That's. That seems very simple and intuitive yeah, 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 to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. I can touch everything. Look, yeah, shelf chopper. spreaders. Yeah. Can I go? Where else can I go? Can I go there? Yeah. Yeah. Cut a bar. Whoops. Grain tank. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. <laughs> Automatic to help you cruise i'll call it cruise control but whatever what well, you must have an, i call it cruise pilot cruise pilot <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i'll go with cruise pilot yeah and gps so once but that's only it won't turn on the headlands for me will it it will uh, i don't have the system in, on the on the machine but you can have a system installed to turn it on the headlands as well you can as well yeah mm, blimey but mo up till now 
it, that hasn't been, has it? Uh, we've had it for a few years. Oh, uh, right. It's not a popular option on combines because people are turning different directions a lot and it's not consistent in each field size. So it's yeah. not sort of short, narrow work. It's quite yeah, wide. Yeah. If you were in a huge square field, maybe. Correct. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in usual UK conditions, yeah. it's not the best no, system for it. No, yeah, no, no. You can do it. Yeah. No. But basically, the point I'm, I'm, I was going with all this auto, which is brilliant, yeah. but you still need to drive the damn thing. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Still need to so, so going on from that, we've just been talking about it automatically sets itself. Mm -hmm. So, what does that that you're going to say makes a load of the manual controls redundant? Well, it, it, yes and no. It, it doesn't replace a good operator. It complements one. Now, it gives you more time to consider grain logistics, how you're cutting out the field, your next move, uh, perhaps some data recording. It gives you more time to do other things. Make sure that it's feeding correctly, checking your samples everything like that it gives you more yeah. time to do other things yeah so you're what? not spending all your time concentrating on your bottom sift setting to see the sample you're doing other things yeah yeah, um, yeah, yeah you're yeah. making sure your stubble height is correct well yeah. hold on i mean okay we're gps controlled but this thing as i come back um, if i switch there mm -hmm. I mean, this is forget, just controlling, being, you know, the guy sitting here is responsible for this. Great. And it's huge. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, so you need all the help you can get. Mm -hmm. Let's come around here and we've got, what have I got up in the front here? Lighting. Lighting, mirror control and your climate control and also your radio. And the radio, yeah. which is the most important yeah. thing. Your Bluetooth and everything, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's quite interesting because I've only just got in this, haven't I? Yes. And you know, uh, not whilst I've been driving one or two of these things a bit recently, I mean that bit. <clears throat> it's interesting going from machine to machine and all the manufacturers, you know, are they're all getting uber complicated. I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, just off yeah. the scale. And sometimes some of these machines, you come in and you just go, and I've got a rough idea, I should be able to set a combine up. And if I get in the cab and I, there's one or two makes that I've just been a bit, well, blimey, how does this, how do I work this thing? This one, I'm going to come in here again, because we were just talking about it, but I've just been playing with the screen, and it just seems so, so intuitive. And you were saying, Adam, well, you were just, hey, come in and do that again. Yeah, you so if, if you're looking, you can see exactly the silhouette of the combine, so the yeah. whole machine is set in front of you. It's not running right now, so the speed's are zero, but the perfect example is the sieve settings. Six, six, top sieve, yeah, top 16. Sieve and, and eight. And so eight, really yeah. quickly, you can see exactly how the whole machine is set. You yeah. want to adjust, you yeah. press on the Come cleaning right system, and then you can adjust, for example, your bottom sieve. That is so easy. Set, and it's done. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you can yeah. see it adjust. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to buy one of these today, but yeah. um, <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> well, you can buy them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought we might. Yeah. Buy yeah. <laughs> Thank you.